Karen's business is in town, but her house design is inspired by her passion, the outdoors. My dad was a climber oh, right. and we always got dragged up hills and I love the fresh air, I love the views and I love the feeling you get when you finish at the end of the day and you come home and you're kind of recharged. Karen plans to build a compact bothy house which will be snug and very well insulated. Externally, it'll be finished in black and grey with a combination of corrugated metal cladding on the walls and zinc on the roof. Triple glazed windows will keep the building protected from the elements. Inside, an entrance will lead to an open plan kitchen and living room with big sliding doors to the rear garden. There'll also be space for a utility room, cloakroom and even bicycle storage. Upstairs, there'll be two bedrooms, one at each end of the house, with a bathroom and toilet in between. And overlooking the main bedroom will be a large mezzanine studio. Karen is desperate to get going on hers. She needs to dig out the drains around the plot before the building goes up. But she can't, because William's scaffolding is on her land. She needs to know when the scaffolding is coming down so she can get on. So how long do you think for your render? You got to... uh, uh, another week. And then do you paint it? No, I'm not painting it at the moment. Not painting it, just leaving it grey? Yes. Hey. Hi. Hi. <laughs> All right? Bothies don't have sitting rooms like this, though. What a thing. Wow, you've got sofa and chairs. I mean, you've got sort of a house. Got half a house. <laughs> <laughs> no kitchen yet? No kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> what do you really need in a house? I've got a toilet. Oh, well, that's good. With a door. That's more than most bothies do. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice to see areas getting finished, because then it gives a wee bit of hope. It gives you a sense of what the room's going to be like, which you haven't really had before. Definitely. You're just sitting I was down. sitting there the other day in my living room and then the view, the sun was coming in and I thought, oh, that's lovely. And it's a nice green view into the trees and... You, well, it is, yeah, with a foreground of actually what looks like a model of the Highlands. <laughs> I mean, you know, that this could be... This has been a... carefully planned. Karen had 150 grand to build her house. Most of that money is now gone and the house is bound to cost more than planned. So to get your bathroom in and to get your kitchen in, how much more money do you need? I think it will end up coming in about 185. OK. Um, constantly things pop up, like the screed round the block work. That was £500. That was just completely had been forgotten. Um, there's like a fire barrier that goes behind the cladding. I think that's about £800. So there's like, they're big figures and they're just like, pop, 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 you know? It's just, for me, it feels like there's still quite a lot to do. Yeah. We're trying to figure out how to actually do it so that it's cost effective, because the prices are coming in so expensive. Wow. So I've got someone to make the cladding, but I've not got someone to put the cladding on. 